Good day, everybody. If you click this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Project 06 Mod Loader 2.0. Uh, this is the most recent form of Mod Loader. Apparently, if you had the first Mod Loader, it should automatically update from my sources. <laughs> so, apparently, this is what we're going to do. What you're going to do is you're going to go into this Game Banana website and you're going to look for the Project 06 Mod Loader 2.0 submitted by Beats, the created by Beats as well. Um, there will be a link to this in the description below. Just a heads up. So, what we're going to do is you're going to download this. You're going to download, um, right here, manual download. It'll be a zip file. And I already downloaded it, so we're going to hop right over to my downloads. You are going to need a version of Project 06. Personally, I get a brand new one. Uh, that way I can separate the vanilla version and the modded version. So, right off the bat, um, right here, this PO6S mod folder, that is my modded version. What we're going to do is we click this, we click that. You see, there's all, you should have all these, essentially. What we're going to do now is we're going to hop back out. We're going to have the mod loader, and you're going to need WinRAR, which is a free program. It should be pretty easy for you to do. Uh, what you're going to do is extract all. Extract them all. You're going to wait a minute, and that's pretty much it uh, for this part. There we go. So that is now open. So now we have mod loader right here. What we're going to do now pretty simple thing. What we're going to do is we're going to drag mod loader into project 06, the, the file that you want to be in. You drag that into there, easy peasy. Now the next step that you're going to do is drag all this out, drag it back into PO6S mod, and now pretty much all you got to do is just um, throw all these into PO6 right here. Throw that also into PO6, and you'll have all these in here now. That's all I have to do. So now, if we are to launch the game, essentially what we are going to be able to do now is have this, you know, working properly. We won't have any mods yet, but I will show you very, very soon. All right. So the audio might be a little loud, and I do apologize. Um. Usually I have everything leveled, but we're, this is a new file, so everything's kind of uh, <laughs> jacked up. So, if we did it correctly, you'll see the mods right there. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to close out of it for now. And this is just an optional thing, but this is something I really like to do. And the reason why I have two different files for this is exactly so. So this is my vanilla file. If I hop into this, I'm able to go into my save files, and file bin 1 is my personal file that I like to use uh, for all my speedruns, whatever. I have everything upgraded, unlocked, it's all good. So we hop back into this, we hop into save files, and the reason why I went into the game in the first place is to create one save file. That way I can click this and do control V, which is going to replace this file, and that way I have all my abilities, unlocks, everything of that sort. Also what we're going to do is hop into PO6 vanilla, which is the other file. You can hop into, I believe it is Sonic the Hedgehog data, and you'll see a settings.bin file. You're gonna copy that, drag it back over here, and we found it in the. Uh, let's just verify exactly where we found it. <laughs> you're gonna copy it. Do not drag it, because if you drag it, then you're gonna lose your stuff. So yeah, you, you find it in this uh, Sonic the Hedgehog underscore data uh, folder. We're gonna do that one more time. Hop into. There it is, right here, and we're going to do Control V. Now we have our settings applied. That will restore everything from quality uh, to your jump dash, your UI, everything. That makes everything from your uh, other file the same exact as the new one. It's like a duplicate, except this one has mods. Now, what we're going to do now is we're open back up Game Banana, and we are on the Project 06 mod loader. We're going to hop back into Sonic Project 06. And the first thing you need to do, if you want to download custom stages, you need a specific, specific mod. And it is a plugin that you're going to need regardless. And I'm going to find it right now. Stage Extensions. You're going to find Stage Extensions, and it is going to be by Macaroo. Shout out to Macaroo for this. I will put a link in the description for Stage Extensions. What you're gonna do now is you can click the one-click install PO6 mod loader. 
click that, you're gonna have a pop up. It's gonna say Open Project 06 Mod Loader. When you do that, you wait, download stage extensions, and click yes. Easy as that. Stage extensions has been downloaded successfully. Also, um, now they have stage extensions, you can basically go crazy. Um, so I did try out this Black Knight mod. There is a way to do a one-click install. However, for this one specifically, they do a manual download. Just want to give a heads up for anyone doing it. Uh, this is currently for May 23rd. It could be fixed by now. It's a work in progress. But um, let's go ahead and download City Escape by Amazon. Shout out Amazon for this whole entire stage. It's kind of nuts, not going to lie. So what we're going to do is do the one-click install. And for this stage in particular, you do need to get the uh, the stage extensions uh, mod or plugin, I should say. So we have that, and let's go ahead and find a character mod. So we're going to find Rush Sonic, which is Kariru's mod. Shout out Kariru. We're going to play as Rush Sonic from the game Sonic Rush. We're going to do the one click install. Click that one more time. We're going to download Rush Sonic by Kariru. And we have downloaded it it's successfully. So now what we're going to do is hop back over here and go hop back into PO6 Silver Mod, that specific folder. Open the application. You'll see this pop up every time you open it because you have the melon loader. That's completely fine. It might look a little scary at first if you're not technical. I'm not technical at all. I just hope and pray that it's working. <laughs> so what we're going to do is press enter plug in my controller real quick that would probably help a lot for this game having a controller so now if you notice the volumes lower and that's because of the uh, settings uh, dot bin file which is super super nice especially if you're trying to keep things separated I highly suggest it too um, just for ease of access especially because the mods are a little bit more experimental and I literally got soft locked so I had to delete my whole thing so that way you don't have to delete everything and lose it all. So hop in our mods. What you're gonna do is you're gonna activate stage extensions. Once you hit the button, the star will go red. And you back out, it might lag a little bit, that's fine. So hop into characters. There's something for each character right now, but at the moment, I believe there's only Sonic that you can be. So this is Rush Sonic. Plays a little song. No, it's a little, little song. <laughs> it's kinda cool. So you press A, you select them. If you want to be regular Sonic in any stage you play, just reset it by pressing Y. So now we're going to hop into City Escape by Amazon. This is where we find the stages. Alright, so you hop into City Escape, and right now we're just regular Sonic. And I'll cut to the video towards the end of it, uh, or the end of this first section, just because we can see Rush Sonic in all of his glory. Alright, so we're at this part right now, and now we are Rush Sonic. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, it's literally Sonic from Sonic Rush. Pretty cool. He has his own little animations. He has his own little spin dash. It's pretty sick. You can fly up around and stuff. Pretty, pretty dope mod. Not gonna lie. So, um, you could also not just have character mods, but you can have UI mods. And I'm gonna swap over to another mod very quick, just to show it off. Uh, just give me one second. Alright guys, we are now back, and we are hopping back into the mod loader, and I downloaded some brand new character UIs that you can change around. So we have the Unleashed Experience by Beats, there will be also another link in the description for this, as well as two other levels that you can play with the Unleashed Experience. Keep in mind that you can play any stage with this character or any of them in the mods. So we're going to hop into Windmill Isle Act 1 by Beats. So this is the Unleashed Experience for Sonic. Uh, so already in Project 06, you can essentially just straight out play 06 or <laughs> Unleashed in P06. It's kind of crazy, and you're able to do the little dash. I mean, the camera does function the same way, but it's fine. Sometimes you just have to deal with it. <laughs> um, you are able to, I believe, drift. Yeah, you can drift a little bit too, which is kind of sick. You have the speedometer in the bottom left as well. You have your spin kick as well. So we're going to go ahead, and if you press R2, you can boost like you're in Unleashed. Without the use of the gems as well from uh, P06 or 06. So this is a pretty, pretty sick mod. Not going to lie. Highly suggest that if you are looking at getting any mod to try, 
probably this one because this is the only mod I believe it's my knowledge that you can actually like change around the uh, the UI <laughs> it's just super sick to do there's a lot of mods out right now and it's an ever-growing community and I highly suggest that you guys should check out each and every one of these creators all right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get to the end of this level you can boost you can literally do almost anything you can do and unleash you can do in PO6 now. You can fly up here, fly around. And this is it. That is the end of the level. So if you guys really like these kinds of videos or if you have any questions at all, please, please, please let me know in the comments. Um, I know this is kind of complicated. I'll try to help anyone out as much as I can. Um, that's really it. That's all I have for me. Hope you guys enjoyed, leave a like, share this video if anyone else that you know needs any help or assistance with the Project 06 mod loader. My name is Lex, and I hope that you guys have an awesome, awesome day. I'll see you guys in the next one. I know that you got wrong.